I'm a proud tractor hoarder, and I know, I know, I said no more broken tractors until I fix another one because we got the Zetter going a while ago. So that just leaves the backhoe, which needs hoses, that Farmall H back there, which needs everything. <laughs> That one, which needs, I don't really know what, and the Dexta, which needs an engine rebuild, but this one actually runs. This is a WD-45 Alice Chalmers from uh, somewhere in the 1950s. I gotta look up when exactly these were made because I'm not an expert in these things off the top of my head. So the story behind this thing is it kind of just fell into my lap because I did a job a while ago where I was paid partially in the machinery and it was a job that paid pretty well and the, and the machine that I got from it was something kind of obscure that, you know, is a good unit, but I honestly had no use for the thing. So I did what any logical hillbilly would do and said, I should trade this for a tractor. So I did. I don't really know too much about this. What I do know, Alice Chalmers no longer exists. They're part of the Agco conglomerate with uh, with Heston and I believe Massey Ferguson and probably like Kellogg's and in Pennzoil and whoever else is in there now. This was in its day an extremely modern tractor because it has a live PTO. So this PTO shaft down here will keep spinning in a way, regardless of whether or not the tractor will. So it's great, you know, if you're bailing or something and you hit some thick stuff, you uh, you stop the tractor moving, but you let the baler run and it munches through whatever. Same if you're mowing, you know, you hit some rough brush or whatever. Now, it doesn't have a live PTO like perhaps that tractor would or anything we're used to. What it has is this hand clutch, which you pull this and it stops the tractor, but it doesn't stop the PTO. And evidently that foot clutch down there stops both of them. Uh, but I don't know, because I've never driven this thing. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of gas. <laughs> gas engines. Um, well, spent not not really that so much. I just don't like distributors and carburetors. But like I said, this one just kind of landed in my lap, and um, I think it's going to be a really cool tractor. It's original. It appears to be original. I think this is the original paint. It's actually the right color. It's not the newer shade of Alice Orange, which is a lot closer to Kubota Orange. Uh, so and it seems like this thing's actually lived a pretty easy life. The gentleman I bought this from, really nice guy, I liked him a lot. He said he got it from uh, some sort of township or, or municipality out where he lives. And uh, they had a giant sweeper thing on the front of it like you'd see on a construction site or whatever. And so from what he can conclude, that's pretty much the only thing it ever did in its life. It looks like it drags some stuff around at some point, but what tractor has it? And um, so, you know. Like I said, relatively easy life. The carburetor doesn't even seem to be leaking, and the distributor, uh, as of like 20 minutes ago when it was parked here, actually works. All right, pretty nervous here. Always a little nervous when you drive something that's very non-standard, like an old tractor for the first time. One thing that's nice is this was built in 1950s America instead of the new and improved America. Therefore, there's no like security stuff or key or anything, at least not yet. I'm gonna add one, because like I said, new and improved America. So we turn on this thing as our, I guess, ignition. I don't know if these brakes have a way to like lock them together if you just run them both individually. All the paint's worn off right in the middle, so I guess probably not. Uh, how do we start this thing? I gotta make sure the gas is turned on. Oh, I hate sucking balls so much. Less than distributors and carburetors though. Okay, no, it was left on. Okay. Where's the stinking starter button? Man, there's only like 10 feet of wiring on the entire tractor and we can't figure out where some of it ends. I think this is our choke. A little bit of smoke on start up there, but that's okay. No weird noises coming out of the engine. Is this our throttle? Uh, I guess that's for the hydraulics. All right, that's our throttle. Play with this choke a little bit. It is discharging 10 amps. <laughs> oh well. All right, let's see here. Let's put this thing in reverse. It moves oddly fast for reverse at idle too. Clutch. All right, the brakes work. I think they just need adjustment. 
Push this. Oh, so sloppy. I think that's first. Nope. Put a little pressure on it, feather this clutch a little, see if it pops into gear. Yep, I think that was it. Hey, how about that? It runs and drives. Woohoo! I'm not used to this. <laughs> All right. Diversify here. Oh, this is so cool. see if I can figure out how this works. I am not familiar with hand clutch tractors. I got the general concept, but that's about it. All right, so we'll throw the clutch. And nothing happens. Throw out thistle words. It snaps like it's supposed to. Okay, well, we can mess with that later. What I want to know is why this throttle doesn't do much. Runs smoother at faster speed. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds real good. Listen to that. Whole tractor shakes at this speed. Look at that battery dancing. Oh, this thing runs like a dream. I gotta go move a pallet though. All right, so now's when we find out if we can figure out this parking brake thing. What the heck is this? Is it even a parking brake? I don't know. It's actually a pretty quiet engine, believe it or not. Look at that. Look at that turning action. Whoa. So cool. A little bit of an oil leak, but whatever. We can come back a little more. I use the hillbilly parking brake, leave it in gear. Wow, that was so cool. So the reason why I parked this thing is, it feels like it's about to rain and this thing is such a beautiful original specimen. Ah, oh, it's leaking. I hate sediment bowls so much. Okay, well, whatever the case. It's such a beautiful original specimen, I don't want it to get rained on. So once I take off at least some of the random bailing wire that can stab through my tarp, I'm gonna throw a tarp over this thing. Woo! 
Man, I'm really excited about this. What a cool old tractor. What else is there to turn off? Let's see, there's no key, but we killed the ignition, killed the fuel. I wonder if there's anything to do for that battery. <laughs> Off. I don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah, so I do have some doubts about the wiring on this thing because it looks a little questionable, it looks a little bit old, and uh, and as mentioned, the, the amp gauge was showing a discharge, at least when I looked at it when it was running. So, what this thing is going to get is the original Chucky 2009 treatment. We are going to, at some point when I have time, pull this thing into the shop and go through everything. Every drop of fluid on this tractor is getting replaced. New fluid in the rear end, engine oil change, we'll stop up the leak on the other side. The leak on the other side uh, might attempt to clean up the wiring a little bit. Honestly, when your wiring system is like six wires, <laughs> in my opinion, it's not worth the effort. I would prefer just to rewire it. Figure we should spin out these spin out rims here just a little bit, widen this a little bit, that'd be sort of cool. And I got to get a manual for this thing because I got to figure out what's up with that hand clutch and learn how to adjust the brakes on this because the brakes have like a solid to here of travel before anything happens and then it's just all at once. But you know, whatever. I think this is such a cool old machine. Uh, might even give it an electronic ignition. I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I'm not gonna restore it though. Like I said, in my opinion, it's just in too nice of original condition to restore. And um, and it, it honestly, it doesn't seem like it needs anything. You know, maybe an oil change and a little love, maybe repack some bearings. But other than that, that's about it. Uh, maybe I'll use it raking hay. Might even use it square baling. That would be kind of fun. Probably not now because I have leased ground. And if I'm if I have to like tow a tractor out there or, or commit to an hour each way on tractor driving it, I need it to be a new tractor. <laughs> one that there's no doubt in my mind that you know something's gonna break and I need the one tool out of the shop I don't have with me to fix it. But who knows? Maybe when I get some land, we'll do some square baling with it. Rake some hay, pull some wagons, disc a little. Who knows? But what a cool old machine. Now, one thing I will say, I, th I think we're pretty much all in agreement that a lot of things were better on older equipment like this, especially stuff with what I believe is a factory original front end. Uh, but some things aren't. <laughs> There's no computers, no emissions, and no electronics, which is good. Uh, but the ergonomics are terrible. <laughs> this is, as most of you guys already know, one of the major downsides of old equipment. Like you sit in line with this and then the brakes are here. Those aren't too bad. You know, you even have a rest here. But to use the clutch, you have to reach your leg around all this stuff all the way over to here. And, um, yeah, and I don't know what the traction booster system... I don't know. I, I'm going to see if I can find like a reproduction owner's manual for this thing online somewhere because it's such a cool old tractor. So, probably not backlogged maintenance because it looks like it's been pretty well taken care of, but thorough maintenance and some odds and ends and a justifiement coming soon. I am really, really happy to have this thing. What a cool old machine and a surprising number of modern features too, like the wide front and the spin out rims and everything else. What a neat machine. I'm going to let this cool down for a little bit, tarp it and we are going to mess with it first chance I get. Thank you so much for watching this random video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys have a great day, and happy tractor hoarding.